So day one of my journey to let go of the need to feel that I'm in control of every single little thing in my life, I noticed that I was a lot more conscious of my thoughts and actions. But I think that's a given in the early stages of this process. But as time goes on, if I'm not guided, I can easily slide back into my old habits. And there were moments where I wanted to help my loved ones in inverted commas. And I stepped back and asked whether it's me helping or wanting to influence the outcome and my environment. And in most cases, it was the latter. So let's just say I'm in the early stages of a metamorphosis from a caterpillar into hopefully a butterfly. And it's going to get a whole lot more painful and challenging before I fully transform. Hi guys, this is day two of my journey to be less of a control freak. It's a Sunday, so I decided to take a drive to Irene Farm, as you can see by the cows in the background. I must say I'm emotionally exhausted from all the self-introspection that I've been doing. But it's a process that I've committed to, so hopefully over time the behavior will become second nature. <laughs> Yesterday I came across a quote that says, maybe it's not about the happy ending, maybe it's about the story. And it hit me that the reason why I'm a control freak is because I want that happy ending in the form of a successful career, great relationships, or just making sure that things run smoothly in my life. For instance, just going on a perfect holiday. So hence the need to control and influence the outcome and ensure that I get that happy ending. But as this quote says, maybe it's about the story and the interesting things that you come across on that story, on that journey, and what you discover about yourself. So today is the day before my video titled Confessions of a Control Freak is released. And the deal was that I would hand over the recordings to my brother Tete and have no role in the editing process. So the first time that I see the final product is when you guys see it. And as a control freak, I'm not happy about this. It's freaking me out because I'm usually opinionated during the editing process. But this is all done to challenge myself, to let go of the need to control every single little thing in my life. So I'm going to suck in my insecurities and anxieties, throw caution to the wind and see where this wave takes me. Hi guys, I'm just about to watch the video and I'm feeling excited to see what Tete has come up with. But I'm also very anxious because even if there's elements of it that I don't like, there's nothing I can do about it at this stage. It's already up on our social media pages. So let's do this. Dude is so anxious. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, let's do it. Let's watch. The message is there. I like the message. I love, I like how it has come across. But the cutting, it's very chop, 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 you know. It's very aggressive. It's very... I feel that sometimes I would have let it flow a bit. and But it's fine. It's not me in control. So, well done, Teddy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 